Welcome back. Let's make sense of the sense. Kenya has received 28% of the Continental Green Financing Funds, totaling to about 9.3 trillion shillings, mostly funneled through to agriculture and urban development. This still falls short of the $277 billion committed by the Global North to facilitate climate justice, which according to the European House, will require Kenya and other African countries to change policies to channel in more private green financing to achieve this. Could this be an attempt by the Global North to back out on the commitments made during the Climate Africa Summit? Our reporter Hibak Said tells us more. Africa only emits 10% of the greenhouse gas emissions globally. Of this, South Africa contributes about 40% and remains to be one of the highest beneficiaries of climate finance, leaving less emitting countries scrambling for scraps. I think we're at about 26% of the, of the green funds that are coming in uh, into the country. That means we're very well uh, positioned. I think we're understanding about it. I think we are putting in proper structures and, and government around to attract that funding, uh, but I think there's still more that can be done. Kenya secured a healthy chunk of the financing pie, bagging almost a third of the total sum with a whopping $7 billion. $7 billion that still remains questionably disbursed and used. Funding criteria shortfalls aside, African countries have only received about $29 billion of the $277 billion pledged by first world countries in a bid to achieve climate justice to disproportionately affected regions in the global south. And that will help us reduce um, our emissions, our CO2 uh, carbon emissions by approximately 30% by 2030 and of course then we also have this very ambitious goal to be uh, carbon neutral by 2050. Now they are adamant that such a huge amount may remain a pipe dream unless African countries aim for private climate financing through public-private partnerships and a push for sustainable infrastructure projects to boost investor confidence. Providing evidence that maybe a risk is not uh, actually uh, real and concrete but is only uh, a perception uh, is also a way of, uh, uh, of decreasing the, 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 the risk profile. A key term tossed around during the Climate Change Global Business Summit on Africa, happening here in the capital, was de-risking, where the main deterrent for green investors into the lucrative African market apparently remained unfavorable policies and high interest rates across the scope. With about $7 billion of total green financing coming into Kenya, one would say that Kenya is one of the main beneficiaries of such funds. However, it lacks from the $277 billion that has been committed by European countries and now the solution seems to be getting more private financing for this cause. Hibak Said for TV47 Nairobi.